Hi YouTube, it's Ben here again. A little trick to show you today called Twisted Sisters. Now this trick uses the two red queens right here. Now what's interesting about the red queens is that if you put them onto the top of the deck face to face, you'll actually see them start to change. You see, there's the hearts and the diamonds. As you put them down on the deck, you push them together and you'll actually see them change into the black queens. Now this is very interesting, this trick, but let me show you how it works. It's very interesting because you have to do it twice in order to understand it. So if you take the black queens, you can have the clubs and the spades right there. And again, if you put them down onto the top of the deck and you put them so that they're face to face and kissing, you can actually see the black queens turn into the black kings. That's Twisted Sisters. We've got a tutorial coming up next. Okay, so Twisted Sisters. Um, it's a nice little trick to open up a routine. Um, from this trick, you maybe want to go into something like a four queen or a four ace routine. Um, and it, it also works very nicely as a standalone trick. Um, it's not quite as impromptu as I perhaps made it look just there, so I'm going to go through very quickly go through the setup of the of the trick now. Okay, um, so first of all, you want your two red queens. Just put them to one side for a second. Your your two black queens. They want to go face to face on top of the deck. Okay, so second card down is effectively one of the black queens facing up, face to face on the top of the deck. Nice and easy. Flip the deck over. The bottom card. Turn over so that the deck looks the same both ways as far as just looking at one card is concerned. Okay, we'll come to that in a minute. And then the same with the kings, face to face on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that's your setup, then you're ready to go. What you want to do first of all, before you even begin the trick, get a pinky break under the top two cards, all right? That sandwich, that, that queen sandwich you've got there, the two black queens, get a pinky break under those two and just hold it. Okay, um, sorry, I don't know why my camcorder is coming in and out of focus. Hopefully I won't do that again. Now, the, the slides of this, uh, the red queens, they go on the top, they both go on top face up. Okay, so effectively at this point you've got a break under the top four cards. Here's where the, the only really tricky slide of it, and it's getting this subtle and, and casual, is, is the tricky bit. You put your thumb over the top card, the queen, you grip down, and as you grip down you pull out the other three cards, so that one red queen and the two black queens. So everything else, apart from that red queen, above that break you pull out, but keeping it flush. So you've ostensibly only got one card there. So even close to on, on the camera here, you can tell that there's more than one card there, but hopefully people won't see that, especially if you get the angles right. Okay. So keeping it flush, you've then got two red cards, the two red queens, but you've actually got the two black queens hidden underneath the queen of diamonds there. Keep it flush, flip it over, and put it so it's on top of there. You can show the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Hearts right there, put it onto the cards, and then you simply push forward and slide back. And in that motion, it looks like the cards are changing from red to black. So at speed, that will look like this. See the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Hearts there, and they just change. And because obviously the card underneath is already got the back face up, it looks perfectly natural. You need to be very careful um, not to flash the card underneath. So when you're doing this, you don't want to be doing that and pulling back loads of cards so you've got the Queen of Hearts there. So just practice doing that slowly would be my, my advice, and then speed it up. Um, effectively also, once you've taken those off, you can actually lose the break if you like and just have the Queen of Hearts face up there. And you can just then just go like that. Try and keep your fingers clear at the top, because um, colliding with those fingers is one thing that is likely to uh, to mess up the reveal. So you can lose a break once the Queen of Hearts are there, Queen of Diamonds, and the other two black queens underneath onto the deck, and then just simply slide and slide back. And try and get that in one fluid and fairly quick movement. Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Hearts, bang bang. Okay. And that's how you get to the Black Queens. Now the next part will require some time misdirection and a little bit of, it, it's a subtlety that hopefully people won't pick up on. Uh, you may have caught it on the camera. Um, mm. There's not really a huge amount I can actually do to, to misdirect you here. Um, but I mean, what I did, I sort, of, I sort of came back and then put the cards back down. And in that action, I just killed the wrist. Okay, and the, the deck just flips over. Now, at a table, if you're talking to, to other people, it's very easy to do a big gesture with this hand and in that move, just turn the deck over and put it down on the table. Um, I think what I actually did, I, I turned it over and I picked it over with that hand. So again, big, big action over doing small action. But whichever way you want to do it, get the deck over, 
kill the wrist and then just do that. And then you literally repeat the process. So you kill the wrist, we get the deck, get that pinky break under the top two cards again, pick up your two queens, and again they go face up, both of them face up onto there, grip the top card, queen of spades, peel out the three cards from underneath, again keep them flush there, I'm just exposing them ever so slightly, but just try and keep, try and keep them as flush as you can, flip them over onto the queen of spades, and then they change into the kings. Exactly the same movement, um, exactly the same same slides. At this point, you've got a you've got a slightly dirty deck. At this point, you don't want anybody to, to sort of be inspecting that because it's upside down. Get out of that. Um, again, you can simply kill the wrist, bring it back over, and you need to remember that you've got two two cards that are in a slightly dodgy position. You've got the bottom card, which is obviously face down, and the second card in, which is the Queen of Hearts. Um, at this point, you can go into a sort of a, a trick thing. I mean, one one way of doing it is actually to do the same thing again. And get back to your original queens. Um, you sort of do that. You take take your kings and, and bang, get your original queens back. And then you can go into a into sort of a four queen routine if you like. Um, so you've got your, your two queens out there, but again, you've got that card there and the bottom card, which are slightly dodgy. So one way of getting out of that, once you've got your queens back, if you want to do it that way, just give the cards a quick shuffle, um, and then just sort of make some excuse if somebody asks. You sort of go to pick a card and say. In that case, nothing's been exposed, but you can say, oh, occasionally they, they get away, or there's one of the queens, let's try and find the other one, and then go into, into another routine. There are different ways of getting clean, but at that point, it's not really important. The, the, you know, the magic is, is the cards changing into, uh, into the other cards, so don't worry too much about getting clean. If, if you're really worried about it, just wait for a quiet moment and just sort of palm that off. Um, and just put it back on top and you've only got one more card to worry about. Something like that, but I mean, you, you'll be able to find subtleties and you know, easy ways to get out of that. Um, so there we go, that is uh, Twisted Sisters. It's a, a nice nice little opening card trick. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, do leave me a comment, do subscribe, and there'll be more of the same following soon. Thanks very much, I'll see you again.